Yo, what's up, guys? Cinco Golden here. Welcome to another episode. In today's video, we're going to be playing with this all goblin deck I just created. Recently, Clash Royale has added so many goblin cards to the point where I didn't even know what goblin card to put into this deck, but I think I cooked something and I'm very excited to try it out. I have the Evil Goblin Barrel, Evil Goblin Cage, we have the new champion Goblin Stein, and then besides that, just a lot of, yeah, a lot of goblin cards, annoying goblin cards to support, to pressure, to defend, and the only goblin spell, which is going to be the Goblin Curse. So I'm very excited, as I said, to try it out. We're going to be playing in League 10 with this deck. Let's see how we do. See you guys soon with game number one. Okay, let's go, guys. Hoping into game number one. It looks like we're up against a very good player right away. Top 17 in the world finish. Let's give him a good luck. And let's start off by going Goblin Barrel here. We do have the Evil Goblin Barrel and, and the Evil Goblin Cage. So I think it's going to be very important to yeah try to cycle them as fast as possible. So ooh, even though I went with the Goblin Barrel on the corner, if you guys noticed that, he still activates the King Tower. This is definitely yeah, going to be a very good player right here let's see what he's gonna be running so um, tornado plus the goblin stein could be a lot of stuff maybe some kind of graveyard deck maybe some kind of electro giant deck i guess we'll find out later if it is indeed gonna be graveyard we should be i guess decently fine against it i mean we have dark goblin we have the golden curse we have a lot of yes spammy cards which should be very annoying for him to to deal with Okay, let's in the meantime go with the golden stand towards the right side i need to um be careful because i'm not sure what spells he has i think he has poison and tornado i'm not sure if he has barbell in there as well let's go with the dark goblin here and i'm gonna pop the ability to try and get as much damage as possible on the baby dragon on the goblin cage and potentially on the tower it looks like he does go with um, a tornado backwards okay let's go with a golden belt towards the left side man i'm gonna be interested or it's gonna be interesting to see does this deck end up working like can we actually get some victories with it all goblin deck or is it just gonna be one of those videos where I did my best to cook something, but unfortunately we, we didn't really get anything out of it. I guess we'll find out later. Let's in the meantime go with the Goblin Demolisher towards the right side. We still didn't show that we have the Goblin Curse, so that could be yeah, a good thing for us. Let's have the evil Goblin Cage ready here. It looks like he does go with his graveyard. So let's go with Goblin Curse and let's go with a Dark Goblin here. Goblin Curse doesn't kill the goblins or the skeletons right away, but it might be able to create a lot of goblins and hopefully we can afterwards have a pretty decent counter push right here okay nice looks like we do get a, a decent defense he's still got a lot of damage though the bad thing is that we have the um, the cannoneer and cannoneer really isn't that great against the graveyard but i guess we still are in a decent situation let's go with the goblin stein here towards the left side lane let's pop the ability to try and take care of the skeletons as fast as possible and i'm actually gonna go with a goblin barrel towards the left side as well not sure if he has barbell back in cycle but he recently used it so yeah i was about to say that i don't think he has it available and the goblins will be able to get a, a pretty decent amount of damage man we're actually in a damage lead right now um i must say that this is an interesting matchup because graveyard honestly against graveyard we have goblin curse we have dark goblin we have a lot of cards which are yeah really good against it but then also we have the cannoneer and then he does have poison he has barbell he has a lot of anti um spam cards and this deck is basically yeah only spam cards like only goblin cards of course okay let's go with a goblin stein he does go with a poison let's in the meantime go with a goblin belt towards the right side i'm gonna cycle my goblin gang and i'm gonna go with a goblin cage to pull the um, the goblin stein like the monster okay i think i'm gonna go with ability to try and damage the the troops close to our goblin stein not sure if he's able to take care of everything, but at least it damaged the, um, the Goblin Brawler quite a bit. Let's cycle Dark Goblin here, and let's wait a little bit. Okay, let's go with the Goblin Brawler. He does pop his own ability. Man, what a, um, what a strange match so far. Okay, we need to be careful because the Goblin Stein, like the Doctor, is able to get two shots on the tower. I should have actually defended it a little bit before. Let's go with a Goblin Gang towards the right side. And we have the, um, the Goblin Stein plus the Evil Barrel. Should I go? I guess I'm going to go with the Normal Barrel towards the left side. And let's go with Spear Goblins here as well. Okay, let's go with the Goblin Curse on the right side to, to try and get something going with those Skeletons. Let's pop the ability as well. Look at the Goblins from the Goblin Curse. Oh my god, we actually created a lot of Goblins. He's forced to go with Baby Dragon. He's forced to go with a Tornado defensively. And what a crazy match so far, guys. Okay, so um, let's see. Let's go with a Goblin Barrel like this. I think he might go with um, a Bar Barrel there. Let's go with Spear Goblins to defend. And let's go with a Demolisher to pressure. Okay, let's go with the Goblin Curse once again defensively. And honestly, so far, we're actually doing a really good job with, the, with this Goblin deck. I'm actually, yeah, playing pretty well. And I think we have been really annoying for the opponent. Okay, let's go with the Goblin Girl. He does go with a Nado. Nice Nado pulling the Dark Goblin into the poison. And this guy definitely knows what he's doing. Like, he's definitely a really good player. We already saw it just by watching his profile. But we still need to be yeah, careful because it's not game over yet. Let's go with the Goblin's time. Let's go with the Dark Goblin up high. I'm going to go with a Goblin Barrel like this. And I'm going to wait a little bit to see yeah, whatever he's going to do. Okay, let's go with the Demolisher. Looks like he does go with Skeletons. Let's go with the Goblin Curse trying to create at least one Goblin close to the tower. Let's go with a Dark Goblin here. Let's go with a Goblin Barrel. 
And man, I don't even know what I should do here. Should I try to? Yeah, I think I just need to try and keep out the pressure, right? Honestly, if he doesn't attack, then we can also not lose because if he doesn't attack, he will not get any more damage. Okay, let's go with the Goblin Curse here. Let's go with the Goblin Barrel. What is even happening right now? I think he doesn't even know what is happening right now. Let's go with Spear Goblins. Let's go with the Goblin Gang. Man, what is happening with those skeletons right there? Oh my god, are you guys watching this game? Like, what is even going on? Let's go with the evil Goblin Barrel. 10 seconds left. At this point, I think there's no way he will survive, right? Man, he's still defending. How is he still defending? How was he still alive? We do end up taking the tower. What a crazy game to start today's video. See you guys soon with the next match. Hey guys, hopping into game number two once again against the top player. Top 68 finish in the world. And man, what a crazy match. That was probably one of the craziest, but at the same time, one of the most fun yeah, matches i've played in a well it looks like we're up against the hawk rider player let's go with the goblin cage directly in the face of the hawk rider let's wait a little bit to see oh he does a firecracker man firecracker is gonna be annoying for us because goblin curse i believe doesn't kill it and in general firecracker is gonna be yeah very annoying to deal with with um with the goblin stein we can maybe take advantage of the fact that he doesn't have Logan cycle i'm gonna go goblin stein see if he has like a test or something and try to snipe it with a dart goblin here okay nice that is actually kind of good for us let's in the meantime go with ability here to try and take care of the um, the mighty miner maybe get a little bit of damage on the tower as well as you guys can see we do end up connecting a little bit on the tower and okay really rough matchup i would say that this is probably gonna be um, a really difficult matchup to win but we do have a decent start right here getting a good connection on the right side the tower but the most annoying thing is going to be the Hawk Rider and then also the Firecracker. As I said before, we yeah, honestly can't really deal with the Firecracker unless he yeah, doesn't use it like that much on his side of the field. But if he is smart, he's going to get an insane amount of value from the Firecracker. So the good thing for us is that we have the Evil Goblin Cage, which is actually decent against the Hawk Rider. And we also do have a lot of different ways to bait out his look. So maybe at some point we might be able to get some damage when, for example, the lock is out of cycle with a Goblin Barrel with a dart goblin stuff like that but i think in general yeah it's not gonna be easy at all okay let's in the meantime i would say go with a um, goblin barrel but i'm actually gonna go with a tricky barrel a little bit higher let's see if he falls for it but i think yeah i, I was about to say i don't think he he will and let's in the meantime go with a goblin curse here what is even gonna happen guys like what happened in the last match i, I didn't even understand what happened there okay he does go with a look looks like the firecracker is gonna activate the king tower so that's good for us and let's in the meantime okay he spent a lot of elixir right there i don't think he has lock and cycle we can go with a goblin cage and i think that should be able to take care of the hawk rider and in the meantime the goblin barrel is gonna get a little bit of damage let's go with a goblin curse on top of those skeletons and loki this deck is actually working out so good so far like i'm i'm actually having a lot of fun but this deck might actually yeah be decent like so far we're actually also playing against good players we're playing against meta decks and we're doing decently i'm not saying that we're gonna win this match but at least we're putting up a good fight you know Okay, let's go with a goblin cage let's go with a dark goblin here in the middle let's see if we can hopefully take care of the firecracker but man i knew it i just knew when i saw the firecracker i just knew like okay that's gonna be such an annoying card to deal with with our deck he knows it he goes with another hawk rider we do end up defending okay wait a second he might have um overextended a little bit right there let's see if we can take advantage of the fact that he just spent quite a lot of friction let's in the meantime go with spear goblins let's go with an ability here as well and let's wait a little bit to see what he does let's go with a goblin barrel towards the right side nice he uses his look so that's amazing for us and let's go with the goblin gang on the right side once again okay he pops the ability good ability by him let's go with a dark goblin to clean up the, um, the skeletons and let's go with the evil goblin cage hopefully it pulls the hawk rider nice it is able to pull the hawk rider we do have to be careful with the evil skeletons but i think we have a good defense with the dark goblin with the spear goblins and man so far i mean i think we're doing really good actually let's see though let's go with a, a demolisher let's go with a goblin gang he does end up going with an earthquake hawk rider is gonna make it once to the tower is he gonna use the lock that's the real question or is he gonna keep it okay looks like he's gonna keep the lock let's in the meantime go with a goblin barrel he doesn't have tesla available and he's gonna use the lock now on defense so we should take advantage of that by going goblin stein by going dark goblin and i'm gonna um, yeah, go with spear goblins here as well nice okay the goblin stein the doctor is actually able to how do you say stun the, um, the mighty miner so that's good for us i think he's gonna lock the right side so let's prediction by going goblin gang and normal bell towards the left side okay nice good amount of damage look at the damage we're getting on both towers so far guys wait a second we're actually playing this so well i feel like this matchup is not easy at all and we're making it seem like a, a pretty good matchup so far okay let's go with a goblin cage let's go with a goblin curse let's go with spear goblins i'm gonna go goblin gang towards the left side trying to create um yeah, even more pressure and let's then, I think, go with a Goblin Barrel towards the right side. Nice. He uses his um, his look. Let's go with a Goblin Barrel. What does he have to defend this? Look like he doesn't have the best defense available. He goes with a Mighty Miner, but Mighty Miner, of course, 
is not able to fully kill it. Let's then go with um, a Goblin Stein. Let's wait for the Firecrack on the left side to die. And let's then go with a Goblin Gauge Evolution. Let's go with a uh, Goblin Demolisher. Let's go with a Goblin Gang. Goblin Barrel. Spear Goblin. So many Goblins, man. How many times in today's video am I going to say the word Goblin? I think a lot of times, right? Like, there must be at least, like, 1,000 times that I'm going to say Goblin. And then it's actually going to be a yeah, very nice game. We actually managed to get another victory against a top player. Loki, I think we cooked a really good deck, guys. Okay, let's go, guys. Hoping we get to game number three. So far, we are undefeated with this All Goblin deck. As I said before, I think I cooked a yeah, pretty decent deck so far. Let's see if we can keep it up like this. Okay, looks like we're up against the uh, Ice Wizard plus Goblin Stein deck. Gonna be interesting to see what he's gonna be running. I would say that after seeing that, it's either gonna be Pekka. I've seen a Pekka deck with Goblin Stein, and I've also seen a Graveyard deck with it. If it's gonna be Graveyard, I think that's pretty good for us. If it's gonna be Pekka, um, it's gonna be interesting to see how we do against Pekka. Let's in the meantime go with the Goblin Demolisher. He might, yeah, I was about to say he might activate the, uh, the ability there. Looks like he is gonna activate and get a lot of damage. Man, the ability, Loki in some situations, it's so strong. It looks like he also has a Bomber, so that means that he maybe doesn't have a Barbell in there. I think his spells might only be um, to... Ah, he does also have a Barbell. Okay, that's unfortunate. He actually has Barbell. He also... Okay, he goes with his Graveyard already. It's kind of aggressive Graveyard, if you ask me. I think we can go with a Dark Goblin. We can go with a Goblin's time and hopefully yeah, defend it decently well. But man, the Cannoneer is just really not good against um, the Graveyard. So we end up taking a lot of damage. And he unfortunately is able to, to get a lot of value right there. Let's go with a Goblin Demolisher trying to support... The Doctor and the Dark Goblin a little bit more, but I'm not sure if we're gonna get yeah much out of it because as you guys can see, the Dark Goblin dies. The Demolisher here should also I don't know if it's gonna connect. Let's see. Yeah, it does at least connect. Okay, that's decent for us. The connection is gonna be um, quite a lot of damage, but overall situation definitely not good for us. And also the fact that he has Nado and the Barbell and the Bomber like it's just yeah not uh, not great for us I guess. Okay, let's go with the Goblin Cage here in the meantime. Defensively, let's wait a little bit to see whatever he's gonna do. He might go in for... Okay, I think I'm gonna... Man, it's so awkward to defend the, um, the Goblin Stein sometimes. Let's go with uh, uh, Spear Goblins here off to the side. Let's go with Dark Goblin here as well. And I think the key here is gonna be pushing both lanes. Let's go with the Goblin Barrel plus a Goblin Gang. Nice, that's actually a really good situation for us. How is he gonna defend it? He does go with a Tornado, but the Goblins... Okay, with the Ice Wizard, that was a nice defense by him. And this guy's also playing very well. We're actually playing against really good players, but I feel like we're still putting up, yeah, good fights in, in pretty much all the matches so far. Okay, let's go with a Goblin Cage here. He does go with his um, Graveyard. Let's go with a Goblin Curse. Let's go with a Dark Goblin. And let's go, I think, with a Goblin Barrel, but towards the right side tower. Okay, he does go with his Bomber, but man, how are we even supposed to defend this? I think we, we really can't, unless something crazy happens. Look at the Demolisher on the left side, though. Nice, that is able to get a good connection. Let's go with a Goblin Gang. He doesn't have a Skate in Cycle, so we should go with a Goblin Stein here. And, okay, wait a second. We're actually uh, in a pretty decent situation right now. Let's go with a Dark Goblin as well. Let's go with Ability here as soon as possible. Dark Goblin on the right side is getting a lot of value. Let's go with Spear Goblins. And I think we might actually have the W secured, guys. Look at the left side. Look at the right side. Our right side tower is so low. But we do end up taking his left side tower. And now we end up taking his right side tower. So far, we're undefeated. And we're actually playing against one of the best players in the world. Of course, it's early season. It's still, yeah, very early in the season plus plus uh, 35 medals let's see what top we are in the world right now top 120 in the world i think i want to try and get one more victory with this all goblin deck okay let's go guys hopping into the next match which is also going to be the last match of today's video so far we're undefeated i don't want to jinx it but hopefully we can get another victory it looks like we're up against this player aurora which i think is trainer adnan if i'm not wrong let's see what he's going to be playing looks like he has minor plus earthquake okay that's going to be interesting Minor Earthquake is not really a, a combination you see often, but I guess, yeah, as I said, it's going to be interesting to see what he's going to be running. Let's in the meantime go with a Goblin Stein here towards the left side. So he has Bomber, Minor Earthquake, Ice Spirit. So it's going to be some kind of, yeah, Psycho deck with, I guess, just Minor, Minor Earthquake. Okay, very, yeah, very interesting from him for sure. Looks like he does go with a Minor once again. I guess I'm going to go, no, I think I, oh my god, I put the, no, man, there was a misclick. I put a Demolisher way too close to the tower where the Bomber actually splashes on top of the tower at the same time. Let's pop the ability on the left side though to at least get some damage to the tower and also damage his Doctor and the Ice Wizard. But man, what a big mistake from me. After playing so well during the first couple of matches, I make a mistake like that. That's very yeah, unfortunate. But I guess we could still potentially win it here. But man, what a, what a silly, silly misplay. Okay, let's see what he's gonna do. But this is also a very rough matchup. He has Tornado. 
Goblin Stein, Bomber Earthquake look like he has a, a very anti-goblin deck and we have an all goblin deck so yeah this is once again not looking good for us but so far we have been even beating the, the more difficult matchups so I think we still do have a, a potential to win here. Let's go with Spear Goblins. I think I'm going to go Goblin Stein at the bridge. It seems like he doesn't have a building or at least he didn't show a building. So I think we need to take advantage by going Goblin Stein kind of offensively always. Let's wait a little bit. He does go with a Tornado. I think I'm going to... Okay, I'm just going to let him spend that Elixir. He spent a lot of Elixir right there to then afterwards try and create some... Yeah, some kind of double lane pressure. Um, let's go with Dark Goblin. Let's go with a Demolisher here up high to try and take care of it. And he does end up going with his with his lock let's go with a goblin bell here and let's go with a goblin gang knowing that he doesn't have lock and cycle but man he does have the bomber man i forgot about the evil bomber but is he able to defend it i guess he defended it decently but we still got some kind of damage but definitely yeah very strange deck by him strange matchup right here and i'm not sure if we can if we can even win this okay let's go with a dark goblin let's go with a demolisher off to the side he does go with an earthquake on top of the goblin cage that goblin stein is gonna make it to the tower if he pops the ability it's gonna get quite a lot of damage Looks like he does go with a tornado and he also goes with ability. Okay, wow, this is not looking good at all, guys. This is actually looking really, really bad for us. Let's go with ability on the left side. Let's go with the Golden Gang on the right side. Let's go with Spear Goblins here as well. Um, and are we able to maybe still win this match? 800 HP left on our tower. Let's go with a Dark Goblin to try and DPS down the miner. I guess I'm going to go with a Golden Bell here. He should use his look on the left side. Let's go with a Demolisher. Let's go with a Goblin Gang. Nice, he spent a lot of Elixir right there. Okay, but he does have the tornado. Man, I keep forgetting about the tornado. Okay, the Demolisher is able to connect. Let's go with the Goblin Bell. Spear Goblins are connecting as well. Is it enough to maybe win the match? I don't think so. The Miner plus the Earthquake will be enough to take down the tower. What a yeah, unfortunate way to end today's video. I played it so bad. Honestly, I could have played 10 times better. The one misplay of the um, Demolisher. I was thinking, should I go Goblin Cage? Should I go Demolisher? I wanted to go with the Goblin Cage in front of the tower. Um, but then I actually dropped the, the Demolisher and of course it gave him so much damage anyways very difficult matchup in my opinion he had Lock, Quick Cycle, Tornado, Earthquake that was almost like a perfect matchup for him and we actually managed to get three victories in today's video so I'm happy with the result hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video that was a lot of fun crazy matches to be honest if you guys did enjoy today's video please make sure to smack the like button if you're not subscribed to the channel feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys in one of my next videos take care guys